replica of what used to be in Houston. Um, so we've got about 40 different varieties and well we've got 11 new imports as well in the greenhouse so we'll see later. Um, so we've got three main varieties here that we sell to big corporate winery and um, we'll stand here between the Fermentino and the Segrentino so we've got the white and the red and we set this up to have it like a real commercial vineyard with two cordons um, sort of to prove to the big wineries that these alternative varieties is not a niche market it's it's not something that you just grow and and uh, make small amounts of they're actually um, varieties that can do well in on commercial scale um, and they make sense from a growing point of view that they do well in the heat so when you get a hot summer here it's bloody hot yeah. and these vines sort of stand up to it. they don't droop too much they they don't mind the hot weather and so from that point of view it really makes sense um, so we a lot of the varieties come from southern Italy because of that um, there's always a few surprises that from northern Italy varieties that have done really well and we make wine from them and they look really good so Firstly, I would just like to, to thank um, everyone at the Alternative Varieties Wine Show for the opportunity to come up uh, this past week. It has been really fantastic to uh, be able to see behind the scenes. I'd particularly like to thank uh, Helen and Hugh and, and all the stewards because I did come up a bit earlier on Saturday night and I was able to contribute a little bit with stewarding uh, and also fantastic opportunity to see how uh, the, the show actually works. Um, I'd also like to thank um, the sponsor of the fellowship, which is Penguin Estates. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was a really lovely uh, opportunity on Thursday to, to go and have a little bit of Trevor Estate. You know, when I first started working in wine at Liquorland, you know, I got familiar with the Trevor Estate brand. It was obviously very, very good value. So I was really excited to see all of the amazing. Um, improvements and progression that they've had with uh, some of the alternative varieties, particularly the Italian ones. And also I'd like to, chat, uh, to thank uh, everyone at Chalmers uh, because uh, I was also able to, to head out to the Mervin Vineyard and sort of run around like a kid in a candy shop looking at all these amazing varieties. I was so excited to see uh, that they're here in Australia. Um, I am, I'm going to have to apologise, uh, I am quite biased. Uh, I have a real love and affection for uh, Italian wines, Italian grape varieties, and everything Italian. Um, I have had the opportunity of travelling uh, all over Italy, and I think the thing that I respond to most, as far as uh, Italian things, is the simple, the honest. And I think that that's one of the most exciting things that I've seen as far as uh, the approaches and the expressions of uh, the wines is, uh, I think, the wines that I love and, and I know that you know I, I, I have the, the great pleasure of running around Melbourne trying to sell uh, some lovely Italian wines for my employer. Uh, so I do get to, to meet with uh, sommeliers and buyers uh, and in some cases consumers and, and, and it's really interesting to see that they are responding a lot more to these lighter red wines, you know, really simple. So I think that that's a really exciting development in the wines locally. Um, when I was actually awarded the fellowship, I felt incredibly undeserving. Um, even though I, you know, I spent quite a bit of my free time um, trying to write, um, also, you know, hosting a podcast where I chat with different people uh, and with my YouTube channel, um, I believe that the idea of the fellowship is to create an ambassador. Uh, and I'm already an ambassador. I've long been on the. Do you want to give it back then? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Um, I, I have been on the bandwagon, as it were, for the alternative varieties for a long time, and it is my sincere feeling that this is the most exciting 
development in the wine industry in Australia today. <laughs> A lot of people, um, you know, give sort of natural wines, low intervention wines, a hard time, and they do get a lot of attention. But I think the real future for Australia is working with different varieties, changing the expression, you know, changing the discussion about what is Australian wine, what's good quality Australian wine. So uh, I just like to commend everyone for the incredible work you're all doing. I think just. Just planting these varieties, growing these grapes, is an incredibly um, bold move. Uh, and, and, and the winemakers who are using these varieties and doing different things, I think, is just amazing. Uh, I'm so excited about what I've seen. I can't wait to, to continue uh, to not only tell you know, everyone through my digital media channels, um, but also you know, all my customers who uh, you know, I, I love I love selling Italian wine, but I also love talking about alternative varieties. So thank you to everyone. That's been a fantastic. Day. Could I just say you are a deserving winner because this week is about a bit more attention to detail and depth that you you get from this trip. So um, you are deserving of it. Okay, thank you. Bye.